Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a kitting up. I'm actually kitting up for my trip that I will be taking on the truck. We will be going for at least two weeks. So I'm going to be using, this is a review and a kit up. Um, I did just purchase these lockables from Amazon. So I'm going to be kitting up three different projects <clears throat> inside of here. So I will get to see what they're like and if I like them. So the first thing that I do really like about the lockables is that it is purple, which is my favorite color. So I do like that. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like the plastic sleeve, so we'll see how I like that. From what I understand, you push this button and open it. And then to close it, you have to push the button again. So you can open more than one at a time. I wonder, you don't have to hold the button again to close them down. And then they'll just slide them right back in there. So the first painting I have has 20. So that's going to take three different containers. The second two that I have, one has 13 and one has 15. So I'm going to put one of them over here and then the other two over here. And that way I have all three of them in one case and I just have the one case to travel with. So let's get started. How many did I say? 20. Okay. So I'll take them out of there. Um Make sure we're in camera. Sorry about the lighting. I'm in, I'm at my mom's visiting and I'm in the basement and it's kind of not too sunny outside. So tried to get the light on to where it would shine a little bit, but it's still a little dark on one side of my table. So let's get going here. I do use the I use the frog tape because that's just what I have. You can use masking tape. And the only reason I use this is to make it a little bit easier to get the labels off of here. Now this one does already come kitted up, but I do want it to be more convenient. And that's why I'm going to go ahead and put them in the containers. So this is the picture that I'm going to be doing, the cute little toucans. And I like to have the symbol and the DMC code on my labels. And I'm also going to make a little sticker out of our picture. Also a little bit chilly down here, so I'm sorry if I'm shaking. All right, and then our handy dandy sticker maker. Um, I have shown this before, but sometimes I notice that I don't show it in frame, so I will go ahead and show it. You just stick it in there as centered as you can, and then you want to pull on this side. And I don't like to waste it, so stick that right in there, almost. Okay, so once you get it on there, 
you just push down and then peel off your sticker and go upstairs. All right, and we are ready to go. And I am gonna go ahead and put my picture of my sticker on a piece of tape too so I can get it off easily. And I want this sticker just to go right here. I know that these three cases are going to be for that. I'm going to go ahead. I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and cut all the numbers and put them on here and then open them all and then put them all in. So anyhow, like I said, I am visiting my mom in Colorado. We are here because she actually fell, so I came to just check on her and make sure she's really doing okay and not just telling me she's doing okay. And we did move. We finished moving. Um, that was terrible terrible I really don't like moving it's not fun I don't wish it on anybody um, we moved ourselves I'm not gonna lie I'm 44 years old and that was not fun we didn't have a whole lot of stuff but we had quite a bit of heavy stuff and moving all of it on your own is just not not a great idea at that age. So we both agreed, no matter what we both say, we are definitely not moving ourselves any of the next time we have to move. We will be getting movers. We were hurting so bad and still had to move stuff the following day. And after you've done it for one day, you really don't want to get up and do it the next day. And then he went back to work on Monday, and I had to go clean the rental home that we were living in. Um, so I was not loving life last week. And then I finally finished getting everything out of the house on Tuesday, turned the keys over, and then drove to Colorado from Texas on Wednesday. So I had a really kind of hectic week last week, and now this week I'm just hanging out with my mom and trying to get her through. This is her second week after her fall. I'm just trying to get her through the rest of this week. Hopefully she'll feel a lot better by Friday when we leave. But that is really all that's been going on with me don't really have a whole lot to talk about. Um, on the channel, you will notice that I have done quite a bit of unbagging. Um, during the move, so my bags do not have the DMC or, yeah, my bags don't have the DMC code. They just have the number on them. So I'm going to have to refer back to my canvas to see. Oh, I need that one open. So I have my canvas right here. 
and I'm gonna have to refer it back to my legend to make sure I'm just putting everything where they go. Um, I also lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I have been doing unbaggings all week because during the move I decided I wasn't gonna do any unbaggings. I didn't wanna have any extra packing to do. So you'll notice a lot of unbaggings before this video and after this video. Um, I tried to put this one in the middle of all the unbaggings that way it didn't get too boring. But And most of them were from Amazon. I had a few that were from like um, other outside Amazon, just a couple different ones. But I had a lot of great paintings. I'm exciting to get to do some of those. I didn't do a paper pull because I just, I don't know how many diamond paintings I'm going to do while I'm on the road. I may or may not get finished with all three of these. And that was just, my thoughts were if I take three, I'll at least have them. So this bag of 939 is, I don't know, these are I think three inches tall. So we're about halfway and I think that this is going to all fit in here. I don't think that this bag would have fit in my other containers. So that's nice. These are definitely, maybe they're similar to Harbor Freight. And that they would have fit the same amount as my Harbor Freight ones in there. So, let's see. Number 14. <clears throat> And you guys know if I'm doing kidding up and I'm not talking, I will put music in or something so y'all don't listen to just nothing. I feel like I have such a boring life. I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. I do have a, my 14 year old is going to be starting ninth grade at a new school. We felt like this was kind of the best time to move him though because you know, with the pandemic he was at home a lot of kids were at home, so we feel like he'll just kind of be a new kid like the rest of the kids coming back into the school, and not the only new kid out there. It's kind of hard being the new kid. But, and we'll be living out kind of in the country area, so it'll be nice and different and quiet. There won't be any train anymore have to see my kitty cat every now and then. So I'm excited to go on the road with my fiance. I've never been in a 18 wheeler and I mean I've laid on his bed after making it and he was getting stuff done. I just kind of laid there and it's very actually a very comfortable bed. So I'm not worried about not getting any good sleep besides the fact that it's a twin size bed. That's okay though. We haven't seen each other in a couple weeks by the time I'll see him. So I guess it'll be nice to snuggle up and spend some good time with each other. Go and see some states that I've never been to. That's what I'm excited to do and just go explore. Well, he'll be driving. I'll just get to watch out the window and diamond paint while I'm going through some boring parts of states. Cause you know, we all have boring parts of states. They're flat or the same thing or just kind of get tired of looking out the window. I'm sure. Good thing I closed those. So far, I'm liking this little system. Um, I will see how I like it after actually using it while working on a diamond painting, but I don't see where I wouldn't like these. The only reason I haven't purchased them before 
is because it is kind of a bigger case and I don't need this big of a case for my normal everyday diamond paintings but I thought it would be perfect to try it out let's put them in the right order to try it out while I'm on the road with him so there's that one Ooh. one of those felt like it was popped open so from what I understand they will not open until you push that button not even accidentally so that's a good thing I don't have any fear of well, that's not good I need to make sure I had all my labels pushed down really well before shoving them in there so there oh well that one just doesn't want to stick does it um let's try one more time I may have to get a piece of scotch tape or something and there we go. So I do think they fit quite a bit. This was my biggest bag and they all fit in there just fine. No issues there. Alright, so that is that one. So I will move on to my second one. So what is everybody working on? I'd like to know what everybody else is working on, even though I may not know the painting that they're actually talking about, but... Or what is your favorite company to purchase from? Um, I have to say, for me, it's not necessarily a favorite, it's more of a convenience. I, if I wanted something very quick, I know I could order on Amazon and get it within a couple days. Um, other than that, I do enjoy getting my Easy Win subscription. I know some people have tried it and they don't care for it, but um, I, I actually really enjoy it. I don't have any issues with my easy whim so that's one of my I just have a subscription so they send it to me every month like clockwork I haven't missed a I haven't missed any orders they haven't been late on any orders so it's all been really nice with easy whim and I actually have an easy whim that I it got shipped to my old place. I thought I changed it in time, but I did not. So I have to go pick it up from my old house when I get home. But I won't be able to do that unbagging probably until August. So my July and August unbaggings will come sometime in August. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oops, that's why I didn't want to do that. I did not want to have sticky residue on there. I'll have to try someone's suggestion of using Goo Gone to get that off of there. There we go. So yeah, I'm interested to know what your favorite um, diamond painting company is to purchase from. I've purchased from quite a bit to do some unbaggings on my show, but there's only one that I really, outside of Amazon, I can remember purchasing multiple times from, well, twice, and that was the um, DIY Choose. I did, I have another unbagging from them that is on, I think it's on the channel before this video. Um, it just wasn't as great of a deal I don't know what I'm doing as the last time I ordered from them. So it, they still have a buy four, get one free, which is still a good deal. Um, I don't need these numbers and they're actually going to be in my way or I want to use a smaller piece of tape. Um, 
I haven't completed any of their paintings just yet, so I'm not sure of the quality. But as far as price, they did have a great price. The first time I purchased, I barely spent $18, I think, for four diamond paintings. So they do have a buy four, get one free, and their shipping is $6.99. The first time I ordered it was free shipping, but they have since changed that. So no more free shipping, but that's okay. $6.99 is way less than some of the other companies. These symbols are pretty small. This legend was kind of small, but I think I'll be okay. If I feel like I get, I'll take the Sharpie and my tape with me. And if I feel like I need to, I'll just put some tape with a symbol on it again. If I have a hard time seeing my containers while I'm driving down the road. I do wish that they would make a little bit bigger legends on some of these diamond paintings. Because, yeah, this is pretty small. Um, I know a lot of people love Diamond Art Club. They do have their stickers, so you use their stickers to put on your containers. I've done, um, I think I've done, completed three Diamond Art Club pictures. I guess I should have looked at my drills before I really started doing this to see if I was going to have a problem. Oh, I'm going to have to look. Well, let's just hope I can get this right and go in order because I do not have any DMC numbers on. I should have kept the numbers on here. Oh well. I'll figure it out. Anyways, what I was saying was I've done, I did a wolf painting for my mom for Christmas last year. It turned out really pretty. It was the guardian wolf. And I did the four seasons trial in the larger size. And I also did the butterfly uh, wish grant, wishes granted, I think is what it's called, or wish granted from Diamond Art Club. And I think I have, I don't think I did a review on the Four Seasons. Honestly, can't remember if I actually did a review or if I just did it in like a post-completion showing a picture of it. Since my bags are backwards, I'm going to go backwards. I guess I do have, I have my canvas still with the legend right here that I can go off of also. <clears throat> oh, and this one's a square one. I forgot. I kind of get a better idea, gauge of how much these hold with this type of packaging also. Because... This packaging is what I would normally get. So I have two packages of number 12. They are not all the way full. Um, and I feel like I will be able to get them both in here. I feel like they could have made it one big pill package and it would have been fine. But it's okay. my cute little Bella Art J. Nicole trash can that I'm using for my trash. I also have two of the number 11. Um, that might be close. I think these they feel a little bit heavier for some reason or feel like they were a little bit more full. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit the other one in that one. I don't want to try because I don't want to leave them open while I'm traveling. I 
might see if I still have this one left over when I'm complete. I don't think I will. Well, I will have it left over, but I think I might have one other one that is going to be too much to put in one. Okay, still on track with my numbers. Yeah, because I have two of number seven, but that looks maybe smaller. Figure it out here in a minute at the end. Now this one is called Old Glory, and I did get it off of, I won this one from Diamond Express. Um, I think I have plenty of room in there. I won it off of Diamond Express Live on YouTube. So, And I also did a review on it really sure if it's already up or not before this video but if not it'll be coming after I have gotten two diamond paintings from Diamond Express I thought it was really weird I thought I signed up for the monthly subscription but I've only ever received the one painting and they've never charged my card again and I just haven't gone in to look at it to see what happened I honestly feel like I have so many diamond paintings, I don't really need another subscription. So we are almost done with this one. But so far, looking at while I've just been pouring these drills, they look really nice. Um, I'm actually glad I'll be doing a square one. I enjoy square more than round. I have two of this number two and I don't think I'm going to fit both of them in there. You know, they're just a little too full. I don't know. Maybe I'll try. Let's see. See what happens. Oh, they fit. Awesome. So these fit two pill packages in there. That's nice. Now I do know sometimes those packages, even if they have two in them, they come way, way, way more full. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. I was worried about nothing. All right, so that is for this painting called Old Glory. It's not on full shot, I apologize, but there we go. I do think that one might be a little bit harder to work on in the truck because it is the bigger of the three. Um, so I may work on the other two first before I try and tackle that one. All right. And this is my next one. It is the flag with the eagle and the soldiers. And this one is a round. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep the number on this sticker because it doesn't look like there's DMC codes. I really don't have to pull the canvas over here. I know a lot of people don't really care to kit up their projects and kit down, but I still find that part of the, the therapeutic part of doing your diamond paintings. So I actually enjoy both kitting up and de-kitting. 
Do you guys enjoy either one more than the other? Or you don't like it? Is it the worst part of diamond painting for you? I think the sticker may fit on here. Just a little over, but that's okay. I actually completed a diamond painting since I've been here also, and I may go ahead and do a post review. You know what? I think I'll have to look to see where I actually got that one from. I can't remember off the top of my head. It may have been one of my DIY choose from before, but it might have been in UR Best deals. I can't really recall, but I might get that on the channel while I'm here also. I'm trying to get them loaded up for while I'm gone because I will not be able to download videos while I'm gone. I might take a few videos. Might do a whip and chat or a time lapse or something of me diamond painting in the truck. See how it goes while <laughs> diamond painting while traveling. I know that's a big question to people too, so I'm hoping that this video will help. I know people go camping during the summer and there are a lot of questions on a lot of the groups asking you know, should I take my diamond painting camping? And absolutely, why not? I mean, I do have an RV. Um, so I get to be in the coolness when I'm not outside enjoying the camping part of camping. But I do think that even if you were camping in the heat, there's still opportunities to diamond paint. Um, Oh, I couldn't find my diamonds. So anyhow, this is a way that I would travel with diamond paintings. Alrighty. So we got 15 here. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, that's a bummer. I'm gonna have to use. So what I'm gonna do is put my number 15 at the end of this row. That way, when I need to get to it, I'll have it. And then we'll put the rest of them here. I didn't do my math very good. I guess I could have used the last one of the other one as number one, but we'll just do it this way. That way I don't get confused and think what is this for? I may end up just doing number 15 first and getting it out of the way. Oh, that's another question then. How do you guys diamond paint? Do you do one color at a time throughout the whole painting? Do you do sections and do one color and then move on to the next color inside that section? Um, I know me personally, the very first time I did a diamond painting, I did all, it was one that said, you are my sunshine. So I did all the white and the letters, but then I think I switched it up and started doing more section type work. I prefer doing it in sections rather than one color over the whole diamond painting. Um, if you have a large diamond painting and you are able to do section by set or all one color and then move on to the next color, I commend you because there's just, I would, it would drive me crazy um, to do it that way. So I'm curious how do you do sections or one color at a time on the whole canvas? Interested to know. 
I do like confetti. Um, I prefer confetti over just color blocking. I get a little bit bored with color blocking. So I prefer the confetti heavy diamond paintings. Unfortunately, I think, well, the old glory one that I have, it is a lot of confetti actually. Pretty decent confetti on that one. I don't know what the toucan one is because I don't I didn't peel up the cover again and I don't recall. But this one, it looks to be a mixture of some color blocking and then some. Alright, there we go. Let's not get mixed up. Make sure we're starting in the right side. Again, these had two packages, but I could tell that they were both going to fit. They really could have used one package for those. Same thing with 14, we have two packages. have any big plans for summer this year I will be so we moved from a three bedroom two bath home into our travel trailer so we could I mean we have plenty of there's a lot of reasons but um we just wanted to start saving some money to buy it our own house is the main reason. So we have a storage shed also, and we live on my in-laws to be their property. So my summer is going to consist of going for my drive with my fiance for two and a half to three weeks. And then when I get back, I get to organize the new place and the storage shed because right now it's all just crammed into the storage shed with no rhyme or reason so that is how I get to spend most of my summer and um, my son goes back to school early this year I guess because of COVID they didn't I don't remember when they started but they must have missed days or I don't really know Honestly, why they're starting so early, but he goes back to school on the 11th this year. Normally, it's more at the end of the school year. But we'll probably, once I get back, oops, that wasn't good. When I get back from my little drive, I'll have him maybe one weekend before school starts. Two weekends and we'll go fishing and hang out at the lake since we don't get to really go camping. We'll be, technically we'll be camping. But I'll get to show some videos of how to do diamond painting in a small space and how to organize in a small space. And those will be some upcoming videos once I get organized myself. Um, I normally, I have a large diamond painting that I've been working on, which has been on the channel a few times. It's a 90 by 90, and it says, We the People. It's the Independence, Declaration of Independence. Well, I haven't been able to really work on it, and I don't know how to really work on that in the trailer. So if I get to a point where I pull that out and work on it, I will definitely show that process. The one good thing about these diamond paintings also are they're different coating. So 
even if I was to be a little confused, I can just look at the next, like one of the other paintings to see what their lettering look like. Because these are different. These are, it's just, a, it's different. I'll be able to tell what goes where. But there's that side. And... Here is that side. So we have three different diamond paintings in one Lockmates, Craftmates Lockables. And then you have the little snap sticky clothes. I still have this little hanger on it. The only other thing that I think would be nice would be maybe a little handle. I guess you could carry it by these if you really wanted to, but um, hopefully they all stay closed during my travels and I don't have a big mess. I don't see where they would open with the way the mechanism is on the inside. So all in all for traveling, three diamond paintings inside here. Um, I have a feeling I will be starting on my easy one just because it's the smallest of the three and I think this one is square also I didn't even notice when I was putting the diamonds away oh no it's round okay so it won't take me very long to do that one up so I will be working on this one first and then I'll probably move on to this one and then the bigger one. I'll just have to figure out where I'm going to store them on the truck so they can flatten out. There we go. After when you see this video we're actually traveling on traveling on the 5th of July today's the 30th so hopefully these diamond paintings will have a chance to flatten out before I get on the truck and I'll just have to find a space for them. I do plan on taking my little lap desk that has the pillows underneath it and my A4 light pad so they're more convenient for traveling um, and being able to just have my little setup. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that, hit the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. and. I'd love to hear your answers to the questions I asked throughout the video, and I hope you all have a great day.